to our recap of the Bachelor finale. Finale tiaras! I'm in protest. I'm wearing mine upside down. <laughs> Mostly well, because of the announcement of it's the dramatic conclusion with a shocking turn of events. I didn't find it that dramatic, but I found a lot of humor in it. Yes. But before we get started on that, I just want to remind everybody, even though this show is over, this will not be the end of Chris Souls on Monday nights on ABC. Because no. he's going to be on Dancing with the Stars. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about tonight's finale. It's either going to be Becca or Whitney. He seems really, really torn about this decision. You know what? I don't think he seemed that torn. I think he seemed, like, more into Becca. Uh -oh. It did seem like it, but there was the whole, like, uh, does she, like, like me <laughs> kind of thing going on. She doesn't on. know what love is. All right, well. He can't show her. The finale is always the time when the final two get to meet the Bachelor's family. So Chris meets with his extremely large family, even though he's only got, what, like three sisters? Well, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on there. They have multiple tables, you know, put together. To kitty make table, it into, kitty table. To make it into a one big table. All right, well, Whitney was up first, and she brought some flowers and booze. Flowers and booze. Gotta, gotta bring get them, them drunk. some flowers and booze. <laughs> All right, so it was a total hen party. She met with the sisters, and... Now, did she get to meet the sisters the first time? or was she out on a date? I don't remember. I think, I thought she got to meet them. I, I don't remember. know. But she doesn't just want Chris. She wants a mother and a father. Yeah. Well, it's, she, she wants the whole, the whole family. Basically. And the sisters seem to really like her. Yeah. But it seems like he likes Becca more. Oh my God, I just said that. Whitney, yeah. I hope you're not watching, girl. <laughs> uh, Whitney talks to the mom, and she's basically like, Mom, marry me. This is the same thing that happened when Andy visited Chris's hometown yeah. last, whatever, during Andy's season. Right. right. She was like totally in love with the mom and the family, and then she was just like, mm. <laughs> Everyone loves Chris's mom. She's great. Yep. She's great. All right, so... Uh, Chris talks to the men folk, and he can't stop talking about Becca. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I don't know if it was just the editing or what, but... Hello, it's Whitney's date. Why are you talking about Becca? Yeah, it was pretty crazy, and they were all just like, what's wrong with you? Because they, they all felt that Whitney really <laughs> was fit weird. in with them. Yeah. So then when Becca showed up with her cookies, everybody was loving her because yeah. they thought that that's who Chris really liked. She was cracking the jokes. There was a whole chorus <laughs> of dolphin laughter. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's the only one who was laughing like that. But they were just cracking up. Well, they stopped cracking up when Becca wasn't pretending to be as into him as Whitney was. Yeah. Ugh, she was like, I'm not in love awkward. with him yet. Yeah, and... His mom was just like, um, yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you love him. Tell me. I really don't think you know it, but you are. Do you feel bad when he's not around? Blah, blah, blah. It was kind of weird. Then it's love. All right. So. But by the end of it, it seemed like they were like, oh, okay, we get why he likes her, but Whitney. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's final date time and... All they showed of Becca's final date was the hotel room's footage. I'm going to assume that there was some daytime portion of this date that we didn't get to see because if of time. If there wasn't, that's really sad. I feel like there probably was, though. So he wants to know, can you see yourself with me? Yeah, he's got to ask the tough questions right now. He needs to get some answers out of her because he doesn't want to look like an idiot when he's got a sure thing with Whitney. She doesn't know. I don't care how many times you're going to ask her. The... You know, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting to get a different response. Yeah, well... She don't know! It seemed like he was definitely getting frustrated with her lack of answers. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know love. <laughs> she's never been in love. And then she also admits she's scared that she's not going to be able to find something, like, to occupy her time in Arlington. Or anything in Arlington other than Chris and corn and a cow. All right. So, he kind of left that on a weird note, it seemed like. Yeah, I think he kind of knew right then and there that this wasn't happening. Right. So, it's Whitney's last chance for romance Yeah, so we did get to see her daytime date, and he brought her to his farm. Yeah, 
And she walked in the house, and she's like, yeah, I think I can work with this. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he harvests some corn with her. Yeah. Exciting. And her dad. They went to the bathroom, flushed the toilet. Her dad. <laughs> His dad. Oh. I was like, wait, what? He, he brings her to the house, to the lair, and, uh, he's ready to settle, you know? I do feel bad, because it... For Whitney, I mean, because mm -hmm. this whole episode, he's just like, oh, Becca's like my soulmate or whatever. And then he's like, yeah, she really likes me. Whitney's a sure thing. He, didn't they say that a few times? I gotta go with the sure thing. Yeah, it was kind of weird. So he goes to the room with her and <laughs> she is positive that she wants him. Mm -hmm. And he feels good about her. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. It just seems so... <laughs> Like, Badly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go get engaged or whatever. So then Neil Lane shows up, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Oh, when he pulled out those rings, I was ready to say yes. Yeah, they were beautiful. There was some nice choices there. Mm -hmm. You couldn't you couldn't make a bad choice. You couldn't. Except so for then, that round I one still would have been like, okay. <laughs> no, we can work with that. All right, so... It was time for everyone to get ready for the big day. What was with those Witches of Eastwick gowns? It was really cold, okay? They're not doing this in paradise. They're doing this on Chris's farm. Oh, my God. In the barn. A jacked-up barn with um, stained glass and chandeliers. Cages. They spent all that time decorating the barn. sweep up that hay. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I get the ambiance factor, but we could have done with a clean floor. Yeah, really. But I was waiting for that one cage thing to drop down on the per whoever was going to win and be like, I caught you for life. <laughs> it was oh kind God. of a weird vibe. I don't so know. So Becca arrives first, and he wants her. That's no secret. Gives his whole speech. We're perfect together. But you're not ready. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Whitney. <laughs> Bye. You know, she handled herself well. I don't think she knew what the hell was going on. <laughs> I'm just saying, she wasn't like, ah! Does this mean I'm off the show? She left okay, with cool. Grace, cool. but it was kind of weird how, like, she was very emotionless in the car. Yeah. I've never seen anybody so emotionless. In on, the final in two. In the final two. In final two. All right. How many people noticed the crazy old guy behind Chris Harrison? In the live audience. When he was reading the teleprompter, and the guy was just like, he was mouthing Chris's script, and he even did the... Which makes me wonder, did they put that arm gesture in the prompter? Yes, they did! Yes, they did. Oh, man. I think he got a stern talking to because he didn't do he that didn't do for the again. rest of the show. But it just made my whole night, so I thank you, it. guy in the audience. <laughs> All right, so you now... You kind of look like an old uh, Mel Brooks. Okay. It's Mel time. Brooks. It's time to wrap this baby up. Whitney arrives. She's freaking out. She's like... <laughs> I thought she was going to pass out. Yeah. It was crazy. Well, she says she loves him. Why did she get to talk first? I feel like usually don't they have the contestants talk and then the bachelor or bachelorette talks after them? I don't know. I always thought that the, you know, what other think person. So. All right. Well, he loves her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He had a very short proposal. He got down on one knee and he was basically like, would you? And she was like, Absolutely. Me? Yes, I will. So she said yes. Congratulations to Chris and Whitney. Okay. But then the whole time I was like, what's going to happen? Because Chris Harrison was saying how crazy the after the final rose was going to be. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guys, let us know what you thought of uh, what all went down. Were you disappointed that nothing crazy went down? I mean, in a way, I'm happy for them that nothing insane happen. I, you know, I hate when they have to, like, be like, oh, it's a shocking turn of events. Really? Because it seemed pretty damn boring to me. Alright, well, let us know what you guys thought of the finale and the whole season in the comments, and make sure you check out our recap of the After the Final Rose special. It's gonna be the video after this one. So, until the next video, much, much love! Edit.